Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, we gotta talk to this lady. Good day. And check it out. How is that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's director Pura shot. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting you though. Um, not at all. Fine. We love, we love people enjoying their hobbies. Aw, oh, Link, I'm really glad you're such a friendly guy. So, what do you need from me? Um, who are you? You had a little bubble on your name. Hey, I'm Jaren. Check it out. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot of my research on shrines. Oh, that reminds me, Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. You know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to it. The left eye of Skull Lake is higher up. The right one is lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Have you got any other questions? No. Thank you. Yep, I think that was it. Got a shrine quest. Uh, I don't exactly remember what I did last time because it's been a fucking while since I've done it. I've not played this game in a hot minute. But uh, I think I just came in and I didn't even explore anything. So I can take a look around. Uh, we've got a journal here. Some stuff on the wall. Hell yeah, aesthetic. Robbie's memoirs. First page. Let me start from the beginning. It was a hundred years ago. Calamity Ganon had already swallowed Princess Zelda. Dr. Pura and I had already taken Link to the Shrine of Resurrection and left him to recover. Dr. Pura and I had departed for Kakariko Village, where we left Lady Impa. All three of us couldn't stay together, of course. We couldn't risk Calamity Ganon getting all of us in one strike. If that happened, there'd be no one left to deliver Princess Zelda's message to Link when he recovered and woke up. We had to ensure that at least one of us would be able to talk to him. So Dr. Pyr and I set out to survive as long as we could. We were lucky. We found large amounts of ancient energy in Nakluda and Akula regions. We could continue our research. Just as we had in Hyrule Castle, we could again send ourselves to finding some way to seal Calamity Ganon away. We decided... Who would go where in the only fair way? Rock, paper, scissors. I set out for Akala soon after. Next page. I was all set to go to Akala, but first I decided to go with Dr. Pira to the ancient energy source in Nakluda. Actually, that implies I had any choice. Dr. Pira laid on a pretty heavy guilt trip when I suggested her going alone. In a world as dangerous as ours, are you seriously asking me to travel alone? She's so darned pushy. Oh, fuck. Didn't read that last bit. My bad. Uh, but not before loading a cart with the garden stone Dr. Pira had been using at Hyrule Castle. Fuck. <laughs> we traveled for some time, south of the Pillars of Levia, across Lake Sela, and through Blatchery Plain. Then we came upon, upon Fort Hateno. Link had battled an army of guardians there. It's where he'd been defeated. A master swordsman such as Link could impress King Rome enough to make Princess Zelda's personal knight. Well, even someone like that has their limits. I'm sorry, Link. Spent so much time in my life researching the guardians. Even with all my knowledge, I wasn't able to get you the weapons or power you needed to succeed. Those are my thoughts as I looked upon the broken husks of the Guardians strewn about Fort Hateno. God, there's so many of this shit. Lost in my thoughts, I didn't know that Dr. Pira had slipped away. I knew Hateno Village wasn't much farther down the road, and that the Calamity had barely touched that area. So I felt safe letting her continue on her own. We parted ways without even saying goodbye, I suppose. Drawing myself back to action, I set out on my own journey back to towards Kakariko Village. With Dr. Pira escorted safely to Hateno Village, it was time for me to head to my new home in Akala. I returned to Kakariko Village to collect the remaining Guidance Stone, and I immediately set out for Akala. I made my way through the Lanayru wetlands and headed towards Torino Trail. I knew that once I would cross the Akala span, I would officially be in Akala. Wow, this is very entertaining. The autumn leaves brought some joy to my spirit as I crossed the Shadow Pass and headed north from Ordorak Quarry. Akala is known for its long stretches of nothing. We set out hoping that would still be the case. I was attacked by a garden here and spent uh, here and there as I went, but remember, I'd spent my life studying them. Dispatching them individually was no challenge at all. In time, I reached the lighthouse in Akala. What a perfect place to keep an eye on the monsters out there. I unloaded my guidance stone and settled into my new home. And so began my life of solitary research. I knew I had to continue to research the ancient soldier gear for Link. He could wake at any time. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, I quickly settled on a routine. First, I would carry a blue flame from Tamula Heights. Next, I would melt the ancient materials, refine the result, and shape it into ancient soldier gear. 
Difficult to say how much progress I made on my research. The routine demanded so much focus day after day. But then I had a clever thought. I realized I could automate the entire refinement process. It took some significant work, but I was able to successfully remodel the guidance stone. Thanks to my effort, I can refine any ancient material, insert it into it, and offer something in return. Name this machine Cherk, after the first girl I ever loved. My research didn't end with the creation of Cherry, not at all. I realized that if she was able to refine the ancient materials, there was no reason she couldn't also manufacture ancient soldier gear, too. Anyone could make ancient equipment. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> I also decided then that I would want to give her a voice so she could speak. <laughs> it's my own personal robot girlfriend. I was filled with ambition then, but it was no easy task to make my dreams a reality. Automating the manufacturing process was extremely difficult. It took me decades to figure it out. <laughs> Luckily, you had ten of those, at least. I'll spare you the details of all the things that went wrong. But I will say it was complex enough that I had to put my desires to remodel Cherry on the back burner for a while. Days and months came and went. Before I even realized it, I reached the ripe age of 90. I would have been lost in my work even then. But then around that time, a young woman named Jaren arrived. She'd first drained with Dr. Pira, then Lady Empress sent her to aid me. She quickly proved herself quite capable. She carried the blue flame from Tamila Heights and even reworked and improved my designs for Cherry. The very fact that she had trekked all the way from Kakariko Village alone proved she was no ordinary girl. Her intellect, her spirit, in hindsight, is any surprise that we eventually ended up married? Oh my god! Whoa, wait! She's like way younger than you, dude! <laughs> I mean, whatever. Thanks to Jaren's redesign, Cherry was soon crafting ancient soldier gear, perfectly and speaking beautifully. Wait, what? what? Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Him and Jaren are married, right? Not the robot. I didn't read that wrong, correct? She spoke better than any machine I'd ever heard. It would have been hard to tell she wasn't a native Hylian. If I said good morning, she'd respond with a sweet, Good morning, Robbie. And she was helpful. Cherry, where'd I leave my book? It's the third book from the right on the second shelf, Robbie. She also knew sh to ask if she needed something. Robbie, could you increase that furnace heat a little? I'd always go personally to fetch more blue fame from Tulumula Heights. I didn't realize our interactions hurt someone. Oh, no. Wait, what? That someone was Jaren. Perhaps it was due to her namesake, but my exchange with Cherry hurt Jaren. Oh, no. Okay, so he did marry Jaren. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, girly. <laughs> Get that coin. Uh, despite the fact that she knew Cherry was only a machine, she still felt uneasy with my interactions with her. She was in tears when she told me. She knew it made little sense, and yet she couldn't help how she felt. I was devastated. I hadn't even realized the pain I was causing. Although Jaren had designed Cherry, she was now being hurt by her own creation. We agreed to restore Cherry to her original mechanical way of speaking. I took it upon myself to make the changes. From then on, I was careful not to refer to her as Cherry. Her, so would anger my wife. Instead, I called her Ancient Oven. Some time later, Jaren gave birth to a baby boy, a beautiful young one who bore all the features of his mother. We decided to name him Grante, and together we passed the time as a happy family at Akala Ancient Tech Lab. It was unfortunately only a temporary peace. Princess Zelda did her best to contain Calamity Ganon. Around the time Grante turned three, a letter from Dr. Pure arrived. It was a shock to receive it. The last time she'd written, it was a talk about an, an, an assistant from Kakariko Village, whom she felt was useless. <laughs> Is that Mina's wife? <laughs> Is that Jaren? <laughs> she was writing now to let me know she'd completed research on powering up the runes, like stasis. Hearing this reinvigorated my interest in researching ancient soldier gear. Grante grew fast and wasn't long before he towered over me. He loved to carry blue flame from Tumula Heights, calling it a chance to train his body. I could see the curiosity in his eyes, so I encouraged him to travel the world and see as much as he could. He'd always been independent, but I was still surprised when, the very day I told him to travel, he left. <laughs> Writing about Grante's training reminds me. A few days before he left, I thought it might be a good idea to have Grante study with Dr. Pira. I wrote to her to ask what she thought of such an idea, and she sent a letter that simply said... Don't send anyone here! <laughs> I wonder what happened to her to make her say such a thing. That's it. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got your story, my guy. Uh, I wonder if we'll see his son. I don't remember if he was actually the guy that was at her lab. 
I like all the books on the wall. That's so cool. And the maps. Oh, no, that's a picture of a... It's a picture of a guardian. There we go. And then we've got... Is this like an observatory? Yeah. That's cool. And then can I walk up here? Yes. This is a sick house. Wait, no, don't. What am I doing? What am I standing on right now? Okay. Uh, uh, how do I jump? Uh, I've forgotten the controls already. Wait, no, jump up there. There we go. Okay, cool. For fuck's sake. Okay. We've got like a little guardian crane. That's cool. Uh, is there like any secrets? Treasure? Ooh, okay, there's still more up. I want something. If I go up here, I've I deserve a reward. <laughs> uh, is there like a Korok or something? Is there a Korok up here? I bet there is. Oh, okay. oh yep. Yahaha! Yeah. Thank you. Is there other things to examine, or is it just nope, just that? Okay, cool. Can, can I go over on this end? Is there other things? What? No. Nothing on this end. Uh, well, there's a fucking maze there. I might as well do that. I don't actually remember what I said my goal was the last time. Uh, but, I mean, maze in the corner, that's probably a good place to start. Um, yeah, so it's been a while. Uh, a lot of things have happened in my life. Um, numero uno, I changed my name. Um, so that's cool. Uh, changed up the art because I've actually been drawing a lot, just not digitally. I have a sketchbook that I've been trying to fill up. Um, and I've done good work. Uh, I don't think that ladder is real. I think it's useless. Um, can I take this stuff? No, I think it's just the fucking... I think it's just the torch. Uh, okay. The mat. What is... Oh yeah, she's broken. That's right. The ancient oven. You see, it's a bit out of sort. Uh, possibly ancient shoulder gear. Carry the blue flame for the ancient furnace again. Okay, I can do that. Okay, I need the torch. Uh, beans. Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, this one. This one does that. Okay. Uh, oh, I already have a torch. Cool. I should maybe equip it then. Okay, so the ancient blue flame is from, what did he say? Like, Tamula or something? Don't know where that is. To the Heights, over here. Okay, so it's probably something... No, I don't want that. Wait, stamp. There's just something there. Okay, so it's that way. Oh, dude! There's deer! Cool. Um, other things that have happened. I was officially diagnosed with ADHD! I've always known that I've had it, but an official diagnosis is cool. Um, and I've also started Adderall, which is strange, because all it does is make me tired. <laughs> which, I mean, it means obviously there's something wrong with me, uh, chemically, because, oh, Jesus Christ, what's down here? The terrors, uh, well, I'll just slide on over here then. Um, because of something that's supposed to make you, like, up and aware if you're normal or, like, high, I guess, uh, makes me tired. It's because I'm calm. It's a, uh, really weird feeling. Because it's like, oh, wow, all the voices in my head are gone. Oh, shit. Dude. No. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to fight them, but I don't have a good weapon on me. Yep. 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 Ow. Don't kick me. Um. But I also know that that 
ultra sleepiness is a dosage thing. And I've only just started. It's been like almost a week, maybe? So it is getting better. Oh, beans. I'm running out of my axe. That's not great. Okay. Because I'm assuming we're going to have to go up here and then walk the flame. Uh, so it's best to get rid of these guys now. Come on. Blech. Blech. Nope. Hit him before he can hit me. Okay. Uh, nope, I need this. And then... Uh, I guess the spear is okay. Actually, if I equip this, I can use the shield. There we go. Take their club too. That might be a two-handed weapon. But that's okay. I can use those. I don't prefer them, but I can use them. God, there's so many of these guys. <laughs> Jesus. Um, but I'm hoping that it might help with recording games like this, where I can keep on track for a while. <laughs> Not going off a good start, but it doesn't matter. Just take care of them. Uh, that's not as good. That's better. Is the club a two handed? Yes, but uh, I'll drop that and take this instead. I like to keep one of them on me because of um, or. Or requires things meant for breaking rocks. I'll kill you with your own weapon! Yeah, take that, loser. I guess that's the good thing about the two-handed weapons, is it really makes it easy to knock these guys prone. Give me his stuff. Cool. Uh, this region is wet and rainy! I think that's why there's so many um, little lanterns. Because if it wasn't, I'm not trying to attack you, my guy. Just run away in the correct way and not in front of me. Are you dead yet? Yes. Take your stuff, because I can give monster parts to Kilton, which I don't think I've actually seen yet. I think I was looking for him. Uh, last video and didn't find it. That might be a me problem. Is this the furnace? Yes! Okay. And since that is the case, look at this. Watch all. And then we'll... Oh shit! I can't because it's ultra raining. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um. Uh, can I turn? Well, it's gonna not be rainy in a twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes in game time. Is there anything around here? It's like a wait kind of thing. No. Oh, I don't think it's a twenty-minute timer. Is that an hour? Ah, it's an hourly thing. I don't know why for a second I thought that that would go every 30 minutes, but no, it's hours. Right? Um, there's a shrine there. Ding. There's also a shrine there. Ding. I suppose I can replace them on my map with... Um, Oops, I uh, can delete that, because that has its own little thing. That's a shrine. Ah, Skull Lake pin. I can select this change to stamp. And then, I guess stars? Stars would be generally important, because it's not... 
Princess's Shrine? I don't know. I just want my um, pins back. What is this thing? Don't know. Is there a shrine on each peak? Is that the vibe? Um, is this a shrine too? Don't know. Oh well. <laughs> I'll find out later when I'm on that side of the map again. I suppose I could get wood. I need wood for... Um... That one thing. <laughs> uh, I need wood for the one quest, and I haven't done that yet. Um, I will say, I think I've decided to change up how I'm going to do this series. Because I've said that I wanted to get all of the shrines, and I would love to do that. But I also know that that will take literally forever, and ain't nobody got time for that. So... Uh, just reconsidering. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play naturally. I'm going to hit whatever I hit on the way to defeating Ganon, and that's just going to be the series. And then I can come back to it later um, if I want to, to go back and get some shrines and stuff. Uh, or I could stream. I've been thinking about that. I have a Twitch channel, and I have the means to uh, stream now, which I didn't when I had made it. Which is very sad. Um, but now that this is. Go. Nope. Can you stop? Five minutes, I think. 50. Stop raining. Stop raining. Come on, you are past that line. I'm watching that fucking weather thing tick down. Come on. It's cloudy now. It's blue. It's blue. It's shining. It's shining. Stop raining. Yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, so... Where's the next... Is it going this way? This is the down area. Because I assume the flames go out after a certain period of time and the lantern should be placed no 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 the lantern should be placed pretty evenly okay so that I can always get it each time okay, come on Actually, I don't think I want to take that because I need this bow for when it uh, is lightning. Lightning storming. So we'll see, but uh, I'm not going to pressure myself into doing 100%. Or my version of 100%, which is just all the shrines and all the clothes. Um, I won't do that. I'll just get what I can and defeat Ganon so I can end this fucking series, dude. <laughs> it's been going on for literally since like the beginning uh almost even but but definitely years so but at least this is kind of relaxing not i can be thankful for Come on. Oh, that's interesting. When you get close to the flame, the the fire thing burns up real quick. And it's like, it's warm! <laughs> Fucking obviously. Uh, what else is new in my life, I guess? Because this is the series where I talk about these things since there's long moments of this. Um... Still playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, baby. Um, I've actually been doing quite a bit of traveling this year. I'm so surprised. Um, 
I visited Cloudcroft, Vegas. I'm gonna go to Vegas again. I'm gonna go to Denver. Um, it's pretty neat. And I'm hoping next year uh, uh, to go to the UK with my lovely wife. Um, she's been there before, said it was fantastic. And I have been anxious. I've never left America, so I've been anxious to travel. Um, because I am very terrified of speaking uh, in languages I do not know. <laughs> um, even ASL, I get really scared. Just speaking in front of people doing something I'm not confident in entirely, it's pretty frightening. Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid all of these monsters, so I'll just deal with it. Oh, my club is on fire! Now you're on fire, loser. Oh, shit. No, now I'm on fire as well. No, I should eat food. I have food, don't I? Or was that my problem, is I don't have any fucking food? No, I have food. There we go. Yeah. No. You cannot have it. Oh, I suppose the other big fucking thing is... To go along with the name change, I'm getting top surgery next year. Uh, I'm very excited and terrified about that. Um, oh, he's gone. That's nice. Fuck. Um, it's one of those things that I've kind of always wanted, but I've also been terrified of surgery. It's just something that like really freaks me out. Um, and oh fuck it's raining again it's thunderstorming shit what the fuck no oh robbie this is an agonizing thing that you're having me do fuck okay well hold on we're right next to where is it we're right next to the stable aren't we okay it's like in the halfway point all right i'll go and i'll sleep nope Yeah, I know that. <sighs> I have thought it was funny that it's been so long since I started this series uh, that I have a horse named after something I'm not into anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, it's still mostly forward, so I think I can just keep going. I don't need to sleep. I just need to sit by a cooking pot, I guess, is the thing. Because if I can do that, then I can pass the hour. And then I've got two hours of whatever. Actually, you know what? I don't even think that that's going to be a deal. I'm just going to... I'm just going to buy a fucking bed. Excuse me. Yes. 20 rupees, that's fine. Regular bed. Um, it's fine. I'll sleep into noon. That should be a good time. Hopefully it doesn't rain when I wake up immediately. Oh, cool. Ah. Have a good day. It's cloudy. I've got time. Sick. I gotta go. Okay, so up this way is where I was. Um, but yeah, I am very excited for top surgery. I remember, and I, I kind of talked about this in my update video, but like I remember being a kid and not liking my chest. I didn't like the way it made my clothes look. I didn't like the way it made me feel. And that's kind of just only gotten worse as I've gotten older. Um, like I can look at like pictures on my Instagram because I've had it since middle school and, and see outfits I was in and, and remember the days that, that those pictures were taken and I just like hated it. Hated the way that I, I looked in it. And, uh, thankfully I've got a date. It's uh, early March. Early March 2025 is when I go in for that. Um, so we'll kind of see where that goes. But uh, I'm very hopeful. There's my life update. 
that's where I'm at. Um, other than that, I bought a lot of games on the Steam summer sale. I mentioned that in an update video too. Um, I got, uh, geez, I don't even remember. I guess I can pull it up. I am at my computer. Um, I don't remember how far I gotten down the trail. I think, hi Fox, I think it's like over here. <sighs> Mad about it, it's okay. Come on. Kill these fucking guys. I wanted to get this done today. I love that this has an attack up fucking thing. Like I'd ever use it to attack somebody. Okay. We're back on track. <laughs> and immediately it's gonna fucking rain again. That's okay. What fucking games did I buy? I don't even remember. Yeah. I guess I can look. I'll open Steam. Oh no. I see bad guys. Oh, okay, there is a lantern here. Okay, I see it. We're safe. It's fine. I just gotta make it and then I'll kill him. Watch out. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Uh, did I kill you? No. I'm probably gonna have to kill these guys too. Uh. Hell yeah, my laptop is screaming. Okay, what things have I got? We've got, uh, Alice of Madness Returns, which I didn't actually buy on the sale, but I did buy it pretty recently. Um, I've got Beyond Two Souls, um, which I wanted to play because I'm a big fan of Elliot Page and, uh, Elliot Page is in it. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I have Bully, uh, which is a fantastic game that I kind of want to play with Ronan, um, because he wanted to play that game as a kid and was not allowed, uh, uh, Oh, I have another one. Cool. Uh, I have Cult of the Lamb, which again I didn't buy on the sale, but I bought pretty recently. Which, uh, it's not usually the type of game that I play. I, I like the more adventure ones like this, usually. Um, and shorter experiences, but it's kind of like a dungeon y kind of thing mixed with, um, make your own cult thing, which I just love. I love the art style of the story uh, from the glimpse that I saw or just the idea of it's a cult that you run. <laughs> so that was cool. I have Cuphead. That was a gift um, that I'd love to play. Um, Heartbound 2. Uh, that was a game that I did get on the sale and I wanted to play. Um, I also want to play Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, that's a game that's been on my radar for quite a while. Uh, nope. Fuck. Uh, crossbow. Okay. No. Die about it. Okay. Can I get your weapon? Thanks. It's not great, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Uh, and I also want to play Portal 2. I've had that forever. Uh, yeah, I want to play it. <laughs> uh, those are like story games that I have, but I also bought. Uh, oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, now I'm not on fire anymore. <laughs> um, I've had the Escapists forever, and I wanted to play that, but I, it's such like a big game to me like I don't even remember how to play it I'm a little afraid uh, but I also got the survivalists on the steam sale and those are made by the same people same kind of vibe so 
I thought it would be fun to live with those. I might not play them on that channel. I think I will. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Moonlighter was another one that I saw. I saw RT gameplay it and I was like, dude, that looks fun. I've always wanted to be a little NPC shopkeeper, and it's kind of like that vibe. So, was that? Oh, I did buy Prison Architect on the Steam sale. Because, uh, again, make make your own thing, make money. That's a type of game that I, I do play sometimes. Um, I also got Civilization VI, which I feel Ronin and... Alita will absolutely love playing with me. I've already gotten them to get it, so there's that. I also have The Sims now. Uh, I think I mentioned this on the channel before. I think it was in the series even, but maybe not. Um, my epic fight and battle with EA um, over my EA account getting hacked and then someone buying stuff on the sims and then, oh for fuck's sake it's raining again um well i was very upset that i lost like I don't know, it was probably like 40 bucks on sims packs but um it's been so long that i you know it's not even my money um because i had that in high school so it's kind of whatever um so I was just like, fuck it. And uh, made a new EA account because I changed my username and I wanted to keep my old username for when I had it and I'm not using that username anymore so it doesn't even matter. Um, so <laughs> uh, I bought The Sims again. Well, bought The Sims. It's free on Steam. So I just did that and then if I, you know, actually play it more, maybe I'll buy some packs. But maybe I'll make some videos on it. Um... Nope. Nope. Stop. Just die. No! These are not the best weapons for you guys. Give me your stuff, please. I don't like the arms. I don't like them at all. They're not cute. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, the rains. Um, and yeah, that's actually pretty much all of the new games that I have. I've got loads to to play on the channel. And I've got, of course, all of the games that my wife has collected over the years. Um, also, I'll close Steam so my computer stops screaming. Um, but yeah, fun things to look out for. I also have an entire collection of PlayStation 4 games and Xbox games that I would love to play one day, um, especially on the channel because there's some of them that I got specifically to play, but the reason I haven't is because I'd have to set up the PlayStation in my office, which is where I record, and it is currently set up outside in the living room, um, so the PlayStation could be used by anyone. Um, stop whistling. I don't want you to whistle. <laughs> um... Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, but that's the reason why I haven't played them. So I've got those. And I've also got a Wii that I would love to learn to set up because uh, my wife and I want to play Okami. Um, and she is very adamant that the Wii version is the best because you can use the Wii stick as a paintbrush. And you can't do that on the, swim ver si uh, the Switch version, which is uh, another version that I have. Um, so we'll see. I've got other Wii games that maybe one day I will play. Um... But I think we're going to have to end our adventure here. We've got 10 minutes over, and um, I'm still not quite there yet. <laughs> so we'll get them next time, gang. Uh, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.